We all know that the quest is pretty good at doing exactly what it was designed to do. But what if one day you wake up and you don't feel like playing VR? You've still got this quest laying around, and you're wondering, what else could it possibly be used for? So, what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you a few of my other favorite use cases that I've been using the quest for daily when I don't feel like playing VR. And yes, that does sometimes happen. So. Let's jump right in. Now, there's a few main use cases that you may have heard of in the past, and the quest has gotten better and better at this with every update, including things like opening up the three windows for multitasking and things like that. The quest has become a more versatile device as the years went by. But there's a few things that have stuck with me throughout the years as kind of like the main things I use the quest for when I'm not using it for virtual reality. So let's begin with Steam Link. The Quest is an Android device, meaning that you can sideload APKs to it. Basically, any APK out there that wouldn't require something like Google Play services. And you can check out my video on that right up here. So, that is exactly what I'll be showing you first. Steam Link, it's an Android APK that you can sideload onto your Quest that will allow you to play your Steam games from a computer on a massive screen in front of you. So, maybe somebody else is using the living room TV. I mean, that's if you have Steam on your living room TV. But what if you have a Quest? Well, you can sideload the Steam Link APK onto your device, connect to your computer using that Steam Link APK, and play any Steam game that you own directly there from your Quest. And the cherry on top here? Well, the Quest supports Bluetooth controllers, meaning if you have something like an Xbox controller that supports Bluetooth, which unfortunately not all of them do, or a PlayStation 5 controller, or any other Bluetooth enabled controller, you are able to connect that to the Quest and play your Steam Link games with it. Now, one thing I have basically never tried is connecting a mouse and keyboard up to Steam Link on the Quest and seeing if that works. So let's try that live right now. Okay. So, actually, looks like mouse and keyboard does work for Steam Link, which is really, really good. Now, I do want to actually confirm. Yes, it does work. Drive and gun. Yep, definitely does work. I know, I've played this game without a controller. Yeah, I have no idea how to play this without a controller, but it does definitely look like mouse and keyboard works on the Steam Link, which is really good. So unfortunately, I don't know what the result of that was, but I guess you guys do. So that is certainly one of my favorite things to use the quest for when I'm not playing VR on it. Sometimes I just want to lay in bed, kind of stare up at the ceiling, and play a Steam game on my ceiling. Or just play it on a massive screen in general, as not everybody has a massive 120 inch TV right there in their room. I mean, I certainly don't. But with that being said, let's move on to the next thing I like to use my Quest for. The Quest is actually a pretty good gaming machine. And I don't mean modern titles, I mean retro titles. If you guys have any PSP games laying around, you can create a backup of them, because of course we don't support piracy, and you can play them on your Quest. Again, using the tutorial that we made earlier, you can sideload PPSSPP, which is a PlayStation emulator, directly there onto your Quest, connect a Bluetooth controller to your Quest, and play your PSP ISOs right there on your headset, on a much larger screen, mind you, so it would be a lot more comfortable, and basically relive those titles on a much larger display. And same thing goes here for, say, PlayStation 2 titles, which I have tons of, and I've created backups of each and every single one of them, as I still have my PS2 Slim right up there. But I do really enjoy playing these titles on a large screen directly there in front of me, even though nothing is going to beat the box TV that we used to have sitting right here. If I find a picture of it, it'll be going above me right now. Nothing is going to beat that nostalgia. Being able to relive those titles without having to plug in AV inputs or find the controllers that probably don't work anymore. Basically, wherever I am, as they all fit on this now is just a whole different world. And those of you that have ever tried those before know exactly what I'm talking about. So we've talked about additional gaming aspects of the Quest. You can run a multitude of different emulators on it. It doesn't need to be PS2 emulators. It doesn't need to be PSP emulators. It can be any old emulator that you have titles for that you can put onto the Quest. Any emulator that runs on an Android device can be run on this. And that additional benefit of being able to connect a controller or a mouse and key 
keyboard is just absolutely fantastic. With that being said though, what if you don't feel like playing games? Well, the Quest does support multitasking, and it's pretty good multitasking after the multitude of different updates that have come through with it. You can sideload those Android apps onto your Quest, have Twitter, Spotify, Discord, whatever running three of those apps at once on pretty large displays directly there in front of you, or you can do what I do. If sometimes you feel like changing scenery, I don't have a standing desk, so the only way for me to actually be able to change scenery, say if I'm editing for multiple hours at once and I want to stand up, I want to change my scenery a little bit, I want to go downstairs or something, you can launch virtual desktop, you can launch any old desktop connection to your computer on the Quest and have those Android apps alongside your PC desktop running right there in front of you. And let me tell you, that experience is something completely different. Especially with the Quest AR pass-through, it really makes you feel like those displays are just floating around you. And that is an experience I've personally been waiting for for a very long time. AR productivity. Being able to make these displays float anywhere around me in developer mode turning off the Guardian and essentially having the 100% freedom of being able to move around, come back whenever, and that display still being there, it's something directly taken from all the movies of the future that we've seen. And the fact that it's here right now is absolutely amazing. And I'm sure you've noticed, I only have one display, so being able to launch a multitude of different virtual displays around me at the same time, and having Spotify running here, or having Discord running here, does come in really, really handy. It's just unfortunate that that AR pass-through isn't high quality enough for me to be able to use this display at the same time as I'm using the other displays. So all the displays need to be virtual. While I would actually really enjoy having a virtual display there, having a virtual display there, and having my main display actually be my normal display. But I guess we just need to wait for AR to become higher quality for that to happen. But that is going to be it for today's video. I'm sure I've missed a ton of different things here that you guys are using your quest for. So please do let us know down below what different things you're using your quest for. And I would love to be able to pin a few comments, but I'm just going to start hearting them and hopefully we can help out other people find different things that they can be using their quest for when they don't feel like playing VR. As these devices are truly versatile and there's just a whole ton more that we can be doing that I bet we just haven't unlocked yet. And who knows, in the comment section I'll probably find something that I didn't know about and it could change the way I use my device. That's why I love reading your guys' comments. You guys bring so much to the table. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or night, wherever you are in the world. If you like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. And let me know if you learned something new today. If you guys are not yet part of our Discord, check it out down below. Check out our Reddit is down there as well. I want to see you posting your spicy memes on there. And if you do end up using one of these setups, please do post pics on our Discord. I love seeing your guys' creations. With all that being said, thank you so much to the patrons supporting this channel. You guys are helping me out so, so much right now, and you have no idea how much that means to me. So thank you so, so much. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. And if you are, and want to be notified about any future videos coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video.